Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can connect Django application with MySQL database. So the only thing you need to do is in the settings.py file. I have just one model that is blog post to uh, show this demonstration. So first you need to go to settings.py and if you scroll down there is this section here. By default it uses SQLite. So instead of SQLite we need to use a MySQL engine and let's see the code first and then we will install the MySQL engine. So yeah, this is the code we are using this new engine and here you need to enter the name of your database. So let's say we will create a database called my test db. Okay, and then you need to write the username that has access to that database. And let's write root and password for that user. Okay. And host is Check local host. Brand new if you are database is in a remote server, you need to enter the IP for of that remote server here. Cups, bags, and this and option, Get it you today can from the link refer to the Django docs to see what values you can put here. For now, this is not required and we can just remove this. Okay, so the, the rest of the things, they are pretty self-explanatory. The database name, username that has access to the database, password for that user and the host and port. If your database is local, this will work just fine and we are using MySQL engine. This is the only thing that we need to change in code, but we need to install this MySQL driver or MySQL connector for Python that will help us to connect Python and MySQL database. To install that, open terminal. And if you are in a virtual environment, you need to activate the virtual environment. So since this project is using virtual environment, this VNV, I'll activate it. this is how you activate the virtual environment okay so this virtual environment is now activated if you have installed django in your uh, default python and not from a virtual environment you can just do this Hit install mysql connector connector python hit enter but if you have a virtual environment you need to activate the virtual environment first okay so after this is installed, we'll try to run it. Okay, so the MySQL connector is now installed. Now let's try to migrate it and let's see if this, this field or this uh, table is created in our database or not. So the command is python manage.py make migrations. Okay, so this is giving me an error that says MySQL client is installed or not so but we just installed MySQL connector Python right so you should not get this error okay so let's try another module that is MySQL client okay, now let's make migrations okay. again this is giving me an error Okay, so install this too. That is my SQL client. Okay, so you can try installing this first and not the MySQL connector. In my previous project, I was using this MySQL connector, but it seems there is some problem with this package. If you're also facing the same issues, just install this one. Okay, and now migrations is uh, done, but it is giving me an error that says unknown database my test DB. This is because we have not yet created this database. So what you need to do now is let's just copy this name and let's go back to our database and here let's create that database if you don't have a database server access you will need to create this database or you need to ask your database administrator to create this database for you and once this database is created let's go back to our core again and let's migrate again and let's migrate so that that table is automatically created in our database okay so now the tables are being created and if I go back to this test TV and click on this again as you can see the tables are created and the blog post table is also created this is how you can connect Django to MySQL server if you have any question let me know in the comments below